So as always, don't worry about getting the movements perfect. Just follow along. I'll be your mirror image. You can have a seat at any time. We'll begin with the feet together or as close as you can. The hands can come to the lower abdomen. Just taking a few deep breaths in and out. Whichever way feels good for you. Or you can do abdominal breathing. As you breathe in, the belly expands. As you breathe out, the belly returns toward the spine. Just breathing in and breathing out, arriving in the body, letting go of the worries from the day. Just coming into the here and now. And then on the next inhale, you can hold the breath at the top just for a moment, really feel what it's like to hold on, and then let it out with a big sigh. <sighs> feel what it's like to let go. The hands float down by the sides. And as you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front as you gather in the energy, bring it into the heart. Send it down through the body towards the earth, sinking the chi. Breathing in, gather. Breathing out, directing down. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Feeling the sensations. Bringing mindfulness to the body. One more time, sink the chi. And then from here, step one foot out to the side, either foot. The arms float up in front. Then the arms get heavy, floating down. The knees and hips soften. Breathing in, rising up, like mist from the lake. Breathing out, floating down, nice and soft. Opening the door, the start of the journey. Just really taking your time. There's no rush, nowhere to go. One more time, open the door. This time the arms float out to the sides like you're spreading your wings. And the arms float down, the palms face up. They float up the midline, pressing up overhead, and then floating all the way out and down, holding up the sky. Breathing in, rising up. Ah, breathing out, floating down. Opening the shoulders, opening the chest, decompressing the spine. One more time, holding up the sky. This time the hands float up to the heart. One hand pushes up, the other pushes down, connecting the sky and the earth. And then switching sides, keeping the spine neutral at first. And then this time, if you want, you can do a side bend, but always easing in, never forcing it. One more time to the other side, connecting above and below, in in the yang. This time the hand comes up, and then push to the corner, the other hand pushes behind. Coming back to center, push to the other corner, the dragon spreads its wings. This time you can turn a little more, if you like, pivoting on the feet, letting the back heel come up, maybe even looking over the shoulder. And then once more to the other side. And then from here, the back hand swings around as if it's gliding on the surface of the water. The other hand comes around, the dragon swings its tail, sending little waves out into the distance. Once more. This time, hands come together, prayer position, come right in front of the heart. And then step one foot out to the side, a little bit, a little bit wider and shoulder width. And then rising up, the fingertips point up. Coming back down to center, other side, swimming dragon. And as always, it doesn't matter how low you go, meeting yourself where you're at. One more time. This time the hands drift right across the eye level, right across the horizon. And then a little bit lower, across the heart. And then even lower, the swimming dragon part two. Floating back up, drift across for another round, opening the wrists and the shoulders, feeling the flow. And then release, round out, hug the tree, and then from here, the fingertips dip down and towards the earth. The hands come forward, float all the way up and over, and then down the center line of the body. 
digging in the garden. Almost like you're holding this column of air. Bringing it around in a big circle, one more time, digging in the garden. And this time, reverse direction, the hands float up. They drift all the way out and down. Coming back up the center as we harvest from the garden. Breathing in, breathing out. Once more. This time round out as if you're hugging a big tree. And then from here the arms open wide. This hand scoops under the other one on top as you embrace the moon and pivot on the heel. The toes point out to the side. The moon orbits around the earth. Circling around. Sometimes called stirring the chi. Circulating the energy. And then reverse direction. Whichever way you were going, just go the other way. And then when you're ready, you can hug the tree, bring it right back to center, pivoting on the heel, the arms open wide. Then this hand scoops under, embrace the moon. Pivot on the heel, toes point out to the other side. The moon orbits the earth. Circling around, almost like you're carrying something precious. Feeling the sensations, really going for the ride. And then reverse direction, circling it around. Still breathing. And then when you're ready, hug the tree, bring it back to center. Step the foot in a little bit closer, either foot. And then draw the hands in towards the heart. Press out to the side. Draw the hands back in as you press to the other side. The dragon stretches its tail. And then this time, if you want, you can tap the toes out the other way. So it's a nice gentle reach. Stepping back in, other side, tap the toes out to the side. This time you can tap the toes in front, like you're testing out the water. Coming back in, other side, tap the toes. This time you can tap the toes behind. You don't have to go very far. Other side. And then you can keep going directly behind or you can cross diagonally behind. Once more to the other side, the dragon stretches its tail. Step in, hug the tree. <sighs> Soften. From here the arms float all the way up and over. Nice stretch overhead, and then let the hands gently drift down to one side, and then to the other. Floating all the way down, like you're going down a mountain trail. And when you get to the base of the mountain, we'll gather the energy from the earth, bring it right back up to the top. And then the hands drift down the other way, descending the mountain. So just floating down nice and slow, side to side. And then from here, the arms float all the way up to shoulder height. And then other side, just to about shoulder height. This time, the palms face away, the hands float right across the horizon. And then back down, the arms float up, drifting across the heart, like you're painting on the canvas. Nice, gentle brush strokes. Once more. This time the arms circle all the way up and over and down. The chin circles, opening the shoulders once again, lubricating the joints. One more time. Then reverse direction, the arms float up to shoulder height, palms face away, they float right across the heart. Painting on the canvas. Breathing in. <sighs> Breathing out or taking as many breaths as you need. 
one more time, drift across. This time the arms float all the way up and over like a big wave. The chin circles. Really feeling the sensations. How mindful can you be? All right, one more time. And then circle in front, hug the tree, and soften. From here, the hands draw in towards the heart. Step out to the corner as you push the mountain. Drawing back in, pushing out. Breathing in and breathing out. One more time, the push. This time the hands draw in, the palms face towards each other. The hands go out to the corner, palms face away from each other, they open. Facing away, circling around, scooping under, and then back out to the corner, parting the clouds. Once again, opening the shoulders and chest, sending energy to the heart and lungs, boosting the immune system as well. Breathing in. <sighs> out one more time parting the clouds and then step the front foot back in the hands come back in towards the heart shift the weight step to the other corner and push nice and easy nice and slow continuous smooth flow. breathing in breathing out one more time the push And then from here, the palms face towards each other. The hands go out to the corner. Palms face away from each other. They open, circling out and around, scooping under, and then back out to the corner, parting the clouds. See if you can feel the air between the fingers. Really tuning into the body one more time, parting the clouds. And then from here, the hands hug the tree, the arms as well, stepping in. And then from here, the arms open up wide. This hand here scoops under, step in as you catch the moon. Step out to the corner. And as you step out, the bottom hand tosses the moon into the sky, the other hand pushes down. And circle it back around, parting the wild horse's mane. Breathing in and breathing out. And as always, don't worry about getting it perfect. As long as you're moving, I'm happy. One more time, parting the horse's mane. So this time, we'll catch the moon, then we'll spin the moon and look behind, making two loose fists. The bottom fist comes up, the other one by the waist. Gentle rotation, and coming back to center, catch the moon, release the fists, and then spin the moon, look behind, making two loose fists, riding the tiger. All right, one more time. Very nice. Spin the moon, look behind. Parting horse's mane one more time to the corner. And then step the foot back in, hug the tree. From here, the arms open wide. This hand scoops under, step in, catch the moon, step out to the other corner. And as you step out, the bottom hand floats up, the other hand floats down, parting the wild horse's mane, creating tranquility out of chaos. Still breathing, taking as many breaths as you need. One more time. time we'll catch the moon and then spin the moon looking behind making two loose fists bottom fist comes up overhead the other one by the waist gentle rotation and then coming back to center once again riding the tiger very 
nice. One more time. Breathing in and breathing out. This time, parting horse's mane one last time. Step in, hug the tree, and soften. From here, both arms float all the way over to the side. They drift down. Nice gentle sway, side to side, like tall grass in the breeze. Shifting the weight. Soothing the nervous system. And then come over to one side, tap the heel right out in front. Bring it back in, other side, shift the weight, tap the heel. This time tap the heel, the hand comes over the foot. Other side, tap the heel, the hand comes over the foot. This time hand over the foot, other hand in front of the heart. Playing the pipa. Chinese guitar. Other side, circle it around. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, playing the pipa. And then step in and hug the tree. Step one foot out a little bit wider. And then from here, the arms open up wide. The wrists cross down low. And as you rise up, the arms open overhead, floating all the way out and down. Gathering the energy from the earth, giving it back to the sky above. Harmonizing yin and yang. Creating balance and harmony in the body and in the mind. One more time. And then reverse direction, circle in front, hug the tree, bring the foot in a little bit closer. And then from here, the hands turn. The bottom hand drops down, toss away. The elbow bends, the hand waves in, and then press forward right towards me. Other side, repulsing the monkey. Breathing in, breathing out. Taking your time, you can even lean into it if you like. One more time, repulsing the monkey, calming the monkey mind. This time, toss away, other hand on top, step in. Both hands together, pushing down and waving in as you soften. Rising up, softening down, breathing in, breathing out. This time we'll step out to the corner, and as you step out, the bottom hand brushes past the knee, the top hand pushes to the corner, the top hand circles down, the bottom hand circles up. Coming back to the beginning, brush knee and push. Taking your time, and once again, don't worry about getting it perfect. Just keep on moving. You'll still get all the benefits of Tai Chi. All right, one more time, brush knee and push. And then from here, the bottom hand comes up, the palms face up. The hands draw in, circling the arms out and around. The backs of the hands face each other, and then spiral the palms back up. Mama Bear gathers her cubs. Circling it around, spiraling the energy throughout the body. <sighs> and you can sigh out at any time too. It's always encouraged. It's like a release valve for stress. Once more, gather your cubs, bring them back in, step the front foot in, circle around, hug the tree, and soften. Here, this hand drops down, toss away, other hand on top, step in. Both hands together, pushing down and waving in as you soften. Rising up, softening down, breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. This time, step out to the other corner, and as you step out, bottom hand brushes past the knee, top hand pushes to the corner, top hand circles down, bottom hand floats up. Coming back to the beginning, weaving it together. Brush knee. And push. Circling it around, feeling the sensations. Right, 
one more time. Brush, knee, and push. And then from here, the bottom hand comes up, palms face up. Hands draw in, circling out and around. Backs of the hands face each other. Spiral the palms back up. Mama Bear gathers her cubs. Breathing, circulating the energy and the blood flow. It's like you're moving through water. One more time. And then step the foot back in, circle around, <sighs> hug the tree. And then from here, both arms float all the way over to the side. They drift down, floating up to shoulder height. Other side, drifting up. This time, this hand here is gonna scoop down and come right out in front, just to about eye level, and then back down. Same side, just the arms at first. The elbow bends, the hand comes out in front, the other one by the hip, and then down. This time, if you want, you can lift your leg, touching down as needed. The rooster stands on one leg, stepping down. Once again, you can keep your toe down or you can lift it up. The elbow right over the thigh. One more time on this side, the rooster stands on one leg. Very nice. Other side, the arms drift over, they float up to shoulder height. And then this hand here scoops down and comes right out in front. Just to about eye level and then back down. Same side, just the arms. Taking your time, ah, breathing. This time you can lift your leg if you want. Touching down as needed, the rooster stands on one leg. It still counts. So touching down or lifting, just meeting yourself where you're at. You always go forward from there. Just letting go of judgment, bringing curiosity to your experience. One more. And then coming down, circle around, hug the tree, step one foot out a little bit wider. And then once again, the arms float all the way over to the side, they drift down. This time they float up to shoulder height. One hand makes an arrow, the other draws the bow, and then soften the hips and knees. And then rising up, release the bow, other side. The other hand makes an arrow, draw the bow, Soften down. This time you can do it all together, drawing the bow as you soften down. Once more on the other side, the archer. Circle in front, hug the tree, bring the foot in a little bit closer. From here, the arms open wide, the hands float down, the palms face up, one hand on top of the other. This hand floats all the way up and over and down the center line of the body. Other side, breathe in as the hand floats up, breathing out, centering, calming the heart, calming the mind, creating focus and presence. Once more, centering. This time both arms float all the way up and over just as much as you can. And the hands float down to the waist as you soften the hips and knees. And circle the hands in front, gather in the energy, bring it right back into the heart for loving kindness and self-compassion. One more time, open the heart, rising up, softening down, this time making a diamond shape with the hands in front of the heart, press out. Sending out all your loving kindness to the world. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. 
May they live with ease. Then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. And then the hands can float down to the lower abdomen. And step your feet together or as close as you can. And close your eyes or keep a soft gaze, letting your body rock and sway ever so slightly. Bamboo in the wind. It's feeling the gentle rocking sensation in the body. Feel the sensations of the breath. And then bring your attention into your heart, creating an inner smile, expressing gratitude to yourself for being here today. And if your eyes were closed, you can slowly open them. The hands can come together in front of the heart. And we can finish with a bow.